and welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie. This is the best sports story I've ever read collab video. Okie dokie. If you haven't been here for a little while, hello, welcome. Um, I have been doing for the last couple months, a best of series that I asked my friends uh, in my romance booktubers group to submit clips of their favorites um, or their best ofs, I guess you can say. And this month's topic is best sports stories I've ever read or they have ever read. And surprisingly, this one was super difficult even for me. Um, if you don't know, I read a lot of sports romance stories. So picking just one that was my best um, would have been extremely difficult uh, if I didn't want to go outside of my box, outside of my normal sort of recommendations for sports romance. So my pick this month is going to surprise you guys. And um, I wanted my collab partners to be super creative with this. So when we say that it is a sports story, it just means that there are sports involved within the story. So it could have been an ex-player. Um, it could be an Olympic sport. It could be a offlandish sport like cornhole um, or fencing or anything like that. I gave them creative license to determine and um, really interpret, interpret that sports theme any way that they wanted to. So here are their best sports stories they've ever read. Hi everyone, it's Nicole from Who Picked This Book and my best ever sports book is Colty by Mariana Zapata. In this book we follow Sal who is a 27 year old professional soccer player who has had a crush on Rainier Colty since she was a little girl. She had always looked up to him because he was this fantastic soccer player and the crush was real. She had posters of him. She even envisioned marrying him someday. Little did she know that she might actually get to meet the soccer god one day when he becomes the coach for her professional team. And now this is definitely one of those instances where the vision that you had of one of your icons is a lot better than who they actually are as a person. Colty, unfortunately, has hit rock bottom. He gives off a very gruff exterior. He is sulking and brooding the entire time when he's supposed to be training the soccer team. And Sal just gets sick of it. And honestly, like, he slips off of his pedestal a little bit. But of course, he's still gorgeous and she is still attracted to him. So the longer they're together and the more that Sal doesn't take Colty's nonsense, the more he starts to kind of break out of his shell and respect her and realize that he needs to straighten up. This romance is a very slow burn, just like any other Mariana Zapata book also hate to love tropes and there's also an age gap. One of the things that I really love about this book is the way that Sal breaks through Colty's walls and really digs deep to find the person who he really is hiding under that gruff exterior and the tension and banter between these two is at times laugh out loud hilarious and the chemistry is off the charts. If you haven't read Colty by Mariana Zapata you definitely need to. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and I am from the channel Steeped in Books. And my favorite sports romance is A Fighting Chance by Shannon Stacy. This is actually a novella. It comes in right around 150 pages. I read it a couple of years ago and I really enjoyed it. It's about an MMA fighter, a mixed martial arts fighter. And this is a sport that I do not have much knowledge in, but I still really enjoyed this story. It's about a woman who heads off to a casino for a bachelorette weekend of sorts. And while she's there, she runs into her ex-boyfriend, who is our MMA fighter. 
So the two of them decide to kind of have a little weekend fling. He wants to take some stress off for this upcoming match. And she's, of course, there on a girls weekend just wanting to enjoy herself. And of course, one thing leads to another and the story goes from there. Again, it's a short novella coming in, you know, right around 150 pages. I don't want to say much more than that. It gets very hot and spicy. There's a lot of information about the MMA fighting, which I found very interesting. Again, it's not something I know a lot about. But if it's if you're looking for a quick little novella to read, something um, that you haven't tried before, if you've never read Shannon Stacy, she is absolutely fantastic. And yeah, this one is a definite recommendation from me. Hey Steph, hey friends, I'm Brie and I make videos over on the channel Brie Hill and my favorite sports romance is Feisty by Julia Kent. I love this. This is like a romantic comedy series that I've been making my way through and in this one we follow Fiona and Chris aka Fletcher and they knew each other once upon a time in middle school. Chris tried to kiss Fiona one day and instead of letting him kiss her like she deep down really wanted to, she grew up taking kickboxing lessons so she drop kicks him. And now fast forward, they're both adults and Fiona is a preschool teacher and one of her students is the nephew of Chris and this nephew's non-custodial father barges into her classroom with a gun ready to take his kid and she kicks his ass and the story pretty much goes from there then like weeks later she finds herself on a blind date that her friend set up and it is with Chris and this is their romance and it's their romance and then also we get to see Fiona really struggling with like the clash of past and present she really wants to let go of that tough girl persona and just really like be the woman that she's becoming but she has to really figure out how to balance both like you'll always be that girl and it, there's nothing wrong with being a tough woman like obviously it's come in handy for you and there are like tons and tons of women that are like you are so strong I need to be able to defend myself as well if something ever happens it is just really really cute it's really funny I love Julia Ken's sense of humor this series just gets better and better I wasn't a fan of the very first book but Fiona's story definitely hands down is my favorite I love it so much highly recommend this series if it's something that you're interested in. I've been listening to them all on Audible Escape, so definitely check it out. Hey guys, it's Ashley from Ashart Books, and I love a good sports romance, so it's kind of hard to pick one, but one of my favorite sports romance series is The Washington Wolves by Carla Sorensen, and my favorite that I've read so far, I think is The X Effect, which is book two um, in the series. The series follows The Washington Wolves, which is a pro football team, and I love football so I love a good football romance and in the X effect um, our main character our heroine is a publicist for the football team and what I really love about this book and the series is that the women in the book are really involved in like the football team and the franchise they have like usually a job on the team and I really like especially in this one and in the first one the bombshell effect um, our main character, a heroine, is really able to like kick these big huge players like butts. Like they don't take anything um, from them and so in this one she is the publicist for the team and then our hero is um, a football player who is coming out of retirement to come back on the team and it turns out she actually knew him years ago and had a little bit of a crush on him but he was actually engaged to her older sister since then things kind of fell apart and they haven't seen each other i think it's about 10 years um so they meet back up and she realizes that it's him like playing for her team and it's just the two of them so it's kind of like it's not a second chance romance but they did know each other so i kind of like they're like getting to know each other again um i just love this series i think she carla Swanson does such a great job of really like feeling like you're talking about the actual team and kind of the logistics business side of a football team. And as someone who really likes football, um, I think it's really interesting to see. Um, and I think a lot of the other books I've read were amazing as well. A lot of the other books don't really touch on that part of it and kind of the intricacies between having dating a player, like having someone on the team who's in charge dating another player. Obviously there's gonna be a lot of like, uh, angst and drama and I just really loved it I thought the main character was adorable and he was such a sweetheart and I just I love this like book in particular I flew through it and I would just highly suggest the X effect 
Hi everyone, I'm Sydney from the channel Pages of Sid and I just want to talk about a really 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 good sports romance that I've read that's probably going to end up in my favorite books of the year and that is Intercepted by Alexa Martin. I am obsessed with this book, like obsessed. It is really popular so a lot of you guys have probably read it but like oh my goodness I, I love this so so much. So it follows Marley who has just gotten out of a really bad relationship with her wide receiver boyfriend and she quickly finds herself enthralled by the team's quarterback. The only problem is that Marley because of her last relationship has basically sworn off dating athletes because she can't deal with it. She's scarred from a past relationship. Um, but a romance quickly ensues between her and this quarterback and it is just, it is so swoony. I just, I can't get over how good this relationship was. The book was really, really fast paced. The chapters are really short, so I quickly flew through it. Um, I really could feel the chemistry between the characters. There were definitely a lot of moments where I could really tell the two of them really cared about each other and really, really were a good fit for each other. I really, really liked the comedy. I mean, this this book reminds me of an episode of like The Real Housewives and I'm not usually a fan of The Real Housewives because it's a lot of drama. And while this book didn't really have like a ton of drama, I think it just had had just the right amount for me to like love it so it's like drama but in the best way possible I just I bought this relationship I mean one thing I really look for in my romances is the believability of the relationship there have been times where I've just not really been invested in the relationship just because the characters weren't really well developed or there really weren't any tender moments between the two characters but this book just proved that these two people were meant to be together and I just loved it so 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 much. I really really enjoyed the sports aspects of this. It was football which honestly I'm usually not the biggest fan of but lately I've been finding myself more interested in football so I really really enjoyed those aspects and kind of a look at the behind the scenes of what it's like to be um, involved with a football player. If you haven't read this, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It was so, so, so good. If you want something that's really, really fast and funny and just overall a good time, I really, really, really recommend Intercepted. You guys won't be disappointed and I just, I just, please go pick it up. I want to read the sequel and it's just, it's that good. So just please pick it up. Hey there, it's Bree, and the best sports story I ever read was The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. If you know me, you are not surprised by this. Mariana Zapata is my all-time favorite contemporary romance author. She's an indie author, and she writes giant, slow-burn novels. A lot of her novels are sports romances. This one focuses on football. This book is my all-time favorite. It was the very first Mariana Zapata book that I ever read. It was recommended to me because I loved The Hating Game, and this is a hate to love. It's a sports romance romance and it is a fake marriage trope. So there are so many things to love about this book, especially if you love slow burns and especially if you love very motivating characters. The hero is the one who plays football and he's one of the best football players in the league and he's extremely hardworking. He's vegan, which I think is awesome. He's one of those kind of quiet, but sweet characters that I love. And the heroine, she actually runs a marathon in this and trains for a marathon. So it's so inspiring in that aspect as well. I absolutely love this book and highly recommend it. It is my favorite sports story. Hello, friends and enemies. I'm Isabel from Happy For Now. I'm so excited about this collab. I've actually filmed this twice already and then I changed my mind completely on what book I wanted to talk about. So, I just finished this book. I actually got an arc of it, so just heads up. I did read it for free, but that does not honestly change my opinions on it at all. If anything, like, I'm going to buy a physical copy of it because that's how much I liked it. That book is 40 Love by Olivia Dade. This book follows Lucas, a former pro tennis star who's in his late mid-20s, and Tess, who is a school assistant principal, and she is 40. So we've got older woman, younger man, former pro athlete, 
tons of puns. It opens with quite possibly one of my favorite meet cutes to date, which is her losing her top in the ocean. And she flags him down to hide her chest from the children nearby and helps he helps her get to shore and get her towel to cover up. And then they have tennis lessons at night and it just it's so good. It has such amazing representation for a fat main character because that is honestly Olivia Date's specialty. So that I love about it. I also just loved their interactions and their relationship overall. They were so close and kept growing closer in a really organic way, even though the time span they had together was two weeks. And they kind of had to fight to figure out what they wanted to do and how this was going to work. And the fight was really well done and worth it. Um, I just loved this book. It was like sports adjacent, you know, like he still t coaches tennis to people that come to this resort. So he's still like in the sport and he has friends in the sport and I don't want to spoil the ending, but you get your HEA. It is delightful. It's dirty. This book is filthy. I love a filthy book. I love someone who's older getting to find a new partner in life and you know, I think it's a nice twist on the age gap because I do feel like we usually get an older man and a younger woman. And this was just a nice change up. So that's 40 Love by Olivia Dade. Seriously, go check it out. You won't regret it. Hey guys, so my name is Spencer and my YouTube channel is Intentionally Bookish. And for my sports romance, I wanted to talk all about Match Me If You Can by the infamous romance writer Susan Elizabeth Phillips. So this is actually part of her Chicago Star series and the Chicago Stars is a football team. And so this pretty long standing series, first of all, is a classic. And I want to say I read this book maybe like 10 years ago. And even then it wasn't a new release. And it's just got so many fond memories for me. So in this series, we are following a matchmaker named Annabelle and a football agent named Kevin. Now Kevin is actually the agent um, of a football player that we see in a previous book in this series. And so in this installment, he's getting his own crack at love. And so he is described as kind of this workaholic shark best in the biz but kind of a jerk whereas Annabelle she is this sweet feisty redhead um, but she's kind of got a string of bad luck and so naturally she has been tasked with finding a match for basically one of the most ruthless people in the industry Kevin and her job is seemingly impossible but Needless to say, the two of them, um, I would say, have chemistry, even though they don't necessarily hit it off right away. I wouldn't necessarily describe this as an enemy to lover, but there's definitely some resistance, which I absolutely adore. I would recommend this book for anybody who likes contemporary romance. And um, like I said, it deals with a lot of the players and people surrounding the Chicago Stars football team. Now, I'll be honest, I don't watch football in regular life. <laughs> but Susan Elizabeth Phillips, as with all of her books, makes this so intriguing that you can't help but root for, no pun intended, the characters to get together in the end. And what I absolutely adore about this is how multi-layered she makes her characters. So yes, we've got kind of the trope of the uh, guy who is a jerk and the down on her luck heroine, but um, she writes them so fresh and they're each so flawed that it's more than just your average fluffy romance. You're gonna get a lot more uh, personality, a lot more struggle, and needless to say, by the time you get to the happily ever after, both of the characters will have for sure earned it because they have went through the trenches to come out on the other side together as a couple. Hey y'all, my name is Avery from the channel Avery Loves Books, where I primarily read romance books and I absolutely love this question my favorite sports romance because I've realized that I need to read more because <laughs> I haven't really read all that many um, but my favorite one is probably from the Puck series by Helena Hunting and it is number five Pucked Off. This one is about Lance Romero and Poppy and Lance is actually a hockey player and Poppy is a like massage therapist basically. Poppy and Lance actually knew each other as kids but Lance doesn't remember and Lance was actually 
like Poppy's first kiss um, but Lance doesn't remember anything from his childhood because he was so traumatized by his childhood about what was going on in his childhood so he doesn't really remember Poppy like at all but she remembers him one day at I think one of his hockey games he gets injured pretty bad or he gets in a pretty bad fight his coach or his manager I don't remember uh, recommends that he goes to like a massage therapist and it just so happens to be the place that Poppy works at and that's where they meet all over again and it's so cute Lance Romero is like so swoonworthy I love him he's like one of those men that have like a troubled past and I just can't help but love him <laughs> and um Poppy was also like just like super duper duper sweet I loved her from the beginning so yes this is my favorite sports romance that's for sure Hi everyone, my name is Chloe and my channel name is Always Booked and today I'm here to tell you about my favorite sports romance. So the book I chose for this prompt was The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams. I loved this book. This one was like four and a half, five stars for me and I am so stingy. Um, I just was really wowed by this. So this one is about an MLB baseball player and his wife and they are having marital problems and so his teammates invite him into this bromance book club. So this is a secret book club of men from the athlete world, from all over the community that come together to try to read romance novels and try to woo their women. So I just loved this book. It was so like funny, heartwarming, um, relatable. This is about a married couple and they just have some like really entrenched issues that they can't get over. And it's almost to the point that their marriage is falling apart. And I just really enjoyed seeing the, this group of men read the romance novels. It was so great. But the theme of baseball is not like super in the forefront. You don't see a lot of baseball and you definitely don't have to like sports to like this book, but it is like in the background because his career is kind of underlying some of their issues. Um, also, like I said, there's other athletes in this group. So the nature of baseball is constantly in the background and we get a little bit of that community and some information about that world. But the main focus is this couple trying to work out their problems. So if you have not read this book, I would highly recommend it. Like I said, it's funny. It's heartwarming. It's so many things. It's so good. I would highly, highly recommend it. And I'm back. So <laughs> I sort of know what their stories were. Um, we actually had to discuss this this month's uh, topic to make sure that we didn't have any overlaps. But um, I hope you enjoyed all of their picks because I'm thoroughly enjoying their picks. Uh, like I was saying before, normally I don't look at their books, but uh, we decided to really collab and talk about, you know, the different things that we were looking for or that I was looking for to make this video extremely versatile and all-inclusive and it's not just your random or it's not just your typical football baseball hockey baseball I think I said baseball basketball that's the other one that I was looking for it's not just your typical stories that you're looking for I really you know allowed them to interpret it however they wanted to and I really really thank them for digging deep and really finding books that they thought were really inclusive in the in the nature of a sports story but at the same time was their best of so my best of which was kind of hard for me because like i said in the beginning i read a lot of sports romance so i have a lot of basketball i have a lot of baseball i have a lot of football books a lot of soccer books that i could definitely be like oh that's my best i have talked about the harris brothers by amy dawes and nauseam last year they were like so amazing this is hockey AI or this is soccer their soccer Harris Brothers is soccer um the puck series by Helena hum hunting and that's hockey and they're a basketball the hoop series from Kennedy Ryan um but there have been so many other sports that I have read um and I went ahead and picked one of those to be my best sports story ever read, and that was Dare Me by Megan Abbott. This book 
is about cheerleading and it's a mystery and if you aren't like really into cheerleading it may set you off but if you are into cheerleading it has like cheerleading terminology in it and then it has like this military aspect to it and this mystery that goes along to it oh my god it was so amazing and just recently just last year i think it was they did a television show adaptation for it and it was amazing 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 when i saw it it was just i was like oh that was flipping amazing amazing um i believe it is on freeform um that you can go see it it is called dear me and just so good so good i can't even really tell you what else happens besides the there's a mystery and it has to deal with cheerleading it's about these girls getting to regionals and doing whatever they have to do to get to regionals they have this badass coach that comes in and is like we're gonna do this we're gonna make it to regionals and whew, the extra underlying things that go along with that cheerleading are intense so intense oh my goodness so go check out that book so all of those great recommendations and best ofs i hope you find something that you want to dabble in thank you to my collab partners you guys are absolutely amazing make sure that you check the description box i will link all of the books that we talk about as well as their channel information down there so if you are looking for new romance booktubers there is a link down there for that as well so that you can go check us out on all of our platforms and their channel information um the ones that participated in this as well as a link for all of my romance booktuber friends will be down there as well um i think that is all thank you for watching let's discuss if you have read any of those books that were discussed in this video down in the comment section is there one that i haven't read or you haven't heard me talk about uh that i need to go and pick up down in the description box or down in the comment section as well there is a recommendation form down there book title book name author's name genre in which it came in and your name so i can shout you out there's a feedback form down in the description box as well so you guys can help me uh improve my channel my ko-fi page and my paypal information is down there as well if you feel like donating you can uh it's greatly appreciated and keeps me running uh while all this craziness is going on so thank you for watching make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel Thank you again, and we will see you guys in the next video.